Hello friends, welcome back to the update of my almost two months old video about variegated adeniums, some of which are from spontaneous seedlings, mutation and some from hand pollination. The spontaneous seedling mutation of variegation is doing very well, see it here growing slowly very good seedling of dorset hornadenium but uh, the beautiful variegated adenium that i cross pollinated in the past and all the seedlings end up to be albino when this plant was a mother and completely green when the pollen was used from this plant well i was showing you i did the experiment again because the previous one grew on a white leaf branch and i this time chose carefully a branch that had the leaves with plenty green in it and the uh, almost same thing happened again first one half ripened because adeniums have a two-part seedlings uh, two-part um, seed pots so one half ripened and here is the result all are complete albino and unfortunately slowly dying because of a lack of chlorophyll except one I don't know if you can see here has some green so that one has some kind of chance and uh, this was the seed part that was slightly whiter the other seed pot that ripened um, about four or five days later one seedling is completely green and the rest are complete albino which unfortunately means that with biggest probability they will in four or five days from now end up shriveling just like some of these are starting you can see it and even this one that has some green in it might not necessarily make it if it can live long enough to grow a bunch of leaves, well, then some branch might be greener than another and keep a plant alive. I got advice once that if I graft this kind of sprout on a rootstock, that under graft would have some green leaves that would keep it long enough alive to grow enough leaves to see if some of them would have enough chlorophyll so i tried it and it failed in a kind of surprising way i'll show you moment let me get okay here is that plant on which i years ago grafted a sprout that was variegated but had very little green here is the grafted part and it easily survived because there was a le there were leaves down here from the rootstock growing 
so there was enough of photosynthesis. Unfortunately, the new leaves had more and more green in it till finally the greenery took over. So I kept pruning the sprout that was grafted here in order for it to branch more and more in hope that one of the branches would have the variegation but the variegation never came back oh well i think i'll never again try to pollinate variegated azenium in hope of getting variegated babies I know that with other plants than Adenium, it's possible to get variegated seedlings like that easily. I've done it before and I've seen it done before. And I was hoping that if I can do it with Adenium, I can avoid grafting. I can always get grafts from a nice variegated plant and multiply that way, but I was wondering if I can get seedlings variegated. Would they be variegated exactly like mom? Or would they variegated with a different pattern? But I see now that it's easier to just wait for that lucky seedling that mutates into variegation. So that's the warning to others that with variegated adenium it's not easy to get a variegated seedling that has enough green in it to sustain life. Well, onward with another hopefully very, very more successful experiment. Until then, goodbye friends.